Hey you guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video about my thoughts in case you guys didn't hear about Facebook missing uh, their earnings and they unfortunately went down 20%. So Facebook, Meta, I don't know, after they changed their name, I don't know what to call them anymore. Do I call them Meta? Do I call them Facebook? Who knows? So I am surprised, but I'm not surprised at the same time. The reason being is that as you guys can see, it says that they lost a, a number of users and part of the reason is is that because people are not interested so much as on Facebook as they were previously. Look at this daily active users were slightly down in the fourth quarter compared to previous quarter and I really think that this is happening because people are not interested in Facebook. When you think about Facebook, what is it? It's mostly speaking from one person to another. Maybe you're posting on your wall. You're telling people how your day is. I really feel after Omicron, I mean, oh, oh, Om Omicron, that thing, I keep saying Omicron. Um, after that happens, uh, people, it's, you know, they didn't want to post on Facebook like, my day, my day sucks, I'm feeling under the weather, I have low energy, that kind of stuff. Uh, people just decided to be quiet and if you don't feel like posting such depressing stuff oh I want to go out shopping but I can't because uh, you know social distancing people are just gonna stay away from the platform because they feel like they have nothing really to report and I went on Facebook and I looked at my you know friends and they're their posts have been relatively silent before they used to post a lot but I think after the you know what happened people just decided screw it yeah I'm not gonna go on Facebook as much instead what they do is they go on YouTube because on YouTube you can watch video rather than just read text and when I heard about you know when I heard about the numbers again this is what came to mind so for anybody who's a Facebook user I mean a Facebook shareholder I would say be very wary about things moving forward because I think now people aren't so interested in just reading what people type you know they're not so much interested in like a Twitter or uh, I think they're more interested in watching video and I think that's one of the reasons why Google has grown and Facebook hasn't uh, Facebook does have the reels and I'll show you guys this as well see so they said there's also a shift to products that don't generate as much revenue as its core newsfeed for example people are spending more time on its reels video but the Reels video doesn't make as much monetization from what I remember. I can't remember finding it, but just hear me out. I don't think Facebook, my personal opinion, I don't think it's a good stock to invest in. And I shared with you guys, my personal opinion is I think it would be a much wiser choice to invest into Google because Google is going to be doing a split uh, share, a 20 to 1. So if you own one share of Google, uh, on January, uh, by January 1st, I think on January 1st, they're going to say, okay, anybody who owns the stock, I think come July 15th, we're going to be giving you guys 20 shares instead. So they'll dilute it. If let's say Google stock is worth $3,000 on July 1st, they're going to split it. And then that way you get, you know, 19, like, uh, 150 you know each share being uh, 150 dollars so 20 shares at 150 dollars i can't i can't do math right now but um that's all i that's that's what i really believe and i i'm worried for facebook and that's why i'm doing the stream i don't think social media is going to be big um, especially any of this whole like snapchat um TikTok maybe, but you know, like Snapchat, Instagram, I'm not seeing it so much. And I think for Instagram, the problem with Instagram is when you see, and this is just, this is just my personal opinion. When you see people on Instagram, you know, the people who are like looking so perfect or they have all the designer stuff, it just becomes so off-putting when you know how the state of the economy is. You know, you know, people are dealing with issues, inflation, some people, uh, they are having to deal with issues regarding the you know what so they're not going out to the beach you know they're not smiling and just having a great old time maybe some people are bunkering down maybe some people are social distancing uh, they don't really feel like saying like hey look I'm living my best life and when they see people who are let's say on a yacht or you know flashing cash kind of thing they just it's not jealousy but it's just it just seems so tone deaf because I 
I don't find any, for me personally, I don't find any joy in seeing someone being all like, look at me, look at all the expensive stuff I have. And I know in the back of my head, I hear about like rising grocery prices and it's just, you know, it's just kind of like tone deaf. It's almost like, look at me. I'm so much richer than all of you guys, but pay attention to me. Give me a like, give me a heart, comment, tell me how beautiful I am. It just, it was fine, you know, back before all this stuff, but it just seems such a waste when people are spending money on just image stuff when you hear about so many people in the United States trying to, trying to save their money and, um, you know, they're, they're not spending money on stupid crap. So that's, uh, that's, that's my thoughts about that whole social media thing. Uh, I do hope on a, on a end note over here, uh, Amazon is going to have their earnings tomorrow. I'm curious to see what happens. I personally think that Amazon will do well, but I, I really hope that Amazon follows suit and does the 20 to 1 stock split like Google. I don't think they're going to do it, but I really hope they do it because uh, the stock at $3,000, it's just too freaking high. <laughs> it's just too high. Um, and when it's that high, people don't want to buy a stock, a share. And I know what people are going to tell me. They're going to be like, Erica, they can just buy a fraction of share. I know, I know. You can buy $100 worth of Amazon if you want. But I overall, I think people are more primed to buy when it's much cheaper because they'll feel like they get a deal, right? If you get Amazon for, let's say, $150 a share, that seems more like a steal or more attractive to buy than, okay, well, you get like a fraction, you know, one twentieth of Amazon if, if you buy it right now. So I, I hope that they increase their price. I mean, I hope they increase, uh, I hope they do a split of sorts because that would be really beneficial to the stock. Um, so it, it, some people will think that's kind of like stupid thinking, but I've noticed that that's what goes on, right? When the stock does a split, more people buy it because they think it's a really good deal psychologically because then they can finally afford one share or they feel like they get more value for their money, which they really don't. But the fact that they can say they own one share, one whole share, makes people want to buy it. And I really think Amazon needs to, if, they, if Amazon wants to go higher this year, I really think that they need to do some sort of split. If Amazon splits to 150 a share, I will not be surprised if Amazon ends the year at like $250. I really wouldn't be surprised, but we need that split to happen because I'm not seeing Amazon significantly increase because it hasn't increased like since 2020 or so. I know. I, if I sound a little bitter and salty about Amazon, you're right. I am. I've been holding on to this thing, waiting for it to have its its peak. And yes, you know, I, my average buy price, I think, is about 1400 $1, something. But I'm, I'm just ready and I'm waiting for Amazon to hit much higher. And um, yeah, Amazon was kind of like the, the worst performing FANG stock of 2021. And it sucks when I read that. So Amazon, please, please, please split. And that's all I wanted to say. You guys take care and I'll talk to you later. See ya.